in this question we are given a motor boat whose speed is 18 kilometers in still water it takes 1 hour more to go upstream 24 kilometers than to return downstream to the same spot we have to find out the speed of the stream that means the speed through which the water is flowing let's work out the solution before solving these kinds of problems on speed first we will define what is speed speed is the distance traveled by the body in unit time mathematically speed is the distance traveled by the body in unit time using this formula we can solve this problem according to the problem we have given a stream and a boat in stream is traveling with a speed of 18 kilometers per hour and it moves to upstream it takes some time and then from this point it comes to the same spot and it, it takes 1 hour more so we have to find out the speed of the stream let us assume x kilometer per hour be the speed of stream in this problem we have given speed of boat is 18 kilometers per hour and we are also given the distance traveled by the boat to upstream and the distance traveled by the boat to return on the same spot is 24 kilometers this means the distance traveled by the boat to go upstream at a point is equal to distance traveled by the boat from upstream point to return same spot is same and it is equal to 24 kilometers now let us find the speed of the boat when it goes upstream therefore speed of the boat upstream is 18 kilometers minus 18 minus x kilometers per hour it is because when the boat sails upwards its speed is restricted by the flow of stream therefore its speed gets decreased it is decreased by x times so we have its actual speed is speed of boat in water minus speed of stream that is x kilometers per hour totally speed of boat while sailing upwards is 18 minus x kilometers per hour similarly speed of boat when it is coming to the same spot that is 18 kilometers 18 plus x kilometers per hour it is because when the boat sails to the same points its speed gets increased because speed of stream helps the boat to increase its speed therefore its speed is 18 plus x kilometers per hour by the definition of speed we know that speed is the distance traveled by a body in unit time therefore we have the value of time which is equal to distance divided by speed let us find the time taken by the boat to go upstream it is equal to the distance traveled by the boat to upstream which is 24 kilometers therefore we have time taken by the boat to go upstream is distance traveled by the boat which is 24 kilometers and then we have the speed that means the speed of upstream and we have speed when it is traveling upward is 18 minus x kilometers per hour therefore we get the value of time in hours let it be 24 upon 18 minus x hours similarly let us find the time taken by the boat to go downward that means to reach the same spot and it is equal to the distance traveled by the boat to downstream which is 24 kilometers and we have to find the speed of the boat while traveling downstream and it is equal to 18 plus x kilometers per hour therefore we have 
24 upon 18 plus x hours. If we read the question carefully, it is given that a motor boat whose speed is 18 km per hour in still water takes 1 hour more to go 24 km upstream than to downstream to the same spot. This means the difference between the time taken to go upstream and time taken to go downstream is 1 hour. So according to the problem, we frame 24 upon 18 minus x minus 24 upon 18 plus x is equal to 1 hour. Let's solve this equation for x which is equal to speed of stream. By taking 24 common from both numerator we have 1 upon 18 minus x minus 1 upon 18 plus x which is equal to 1. Let us take the LCM of denominators we have the product of the denominators since they are expressions. And on numerator we have 18 plus x minus of 18 minus x. We should be careful while writing the numerators there should be a minus sign. By transposing this term that is 18 minus x times 18 plus x to right hand side we get 24 times 18 plus x. Let us distribute this minus inside the bracket. We have minus of plus 18 is minus 18. Similarly, minus of minus x is plus x, which is equal to 18 minus x times 18 plus x. Here, negative 18 and plus 18 cancelled out. 24 times we have x plus x is 2x. Let us simplify this. It is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. So we have a square minus b square which is 18 whole square minus x square. Let us transpose this x square and 18 square to left hand side. Then we frame a quadratic equation x square plus 48x minus 18 square which is 324. Let us simplify this quadratic equation for x. Now let us factorize this quadratic equation and we have constant term is negative 324 its factors are 18 times 18 it is also 6 times 3 times 6 times 3 if we take here if if we consider we have negative 18 and here we have negative 6 we have to take factors in such a way that the sum or difference is equal to coefficient of x so we take negative 6 as it is and we multiply whole stuff and it have 3 times 6 is 18, 18 times 3 is 54. By adding this 54 to negative 6 we get 48. It is equal to our coefficient of x. So we can write it x square plus 54x minus 6x and it is negative 324 is equal to 0. From these two terms we take x common then we have x plus 54 and from here we take negative 6 common and then we have negative 6 times x plus 54. If we take negative 6 common we are left here x and from 324 we take negative 6 common we are left with 54 which is equal to 0. Here we take the expression x plus 54 common and then we have x minus 6 which is equal to 0. To find the value of x we have to equate these expressions to 0. By equating we get x is negative 54 or x is 6. Speed of the board is not in negatives so we cancel this negative value and we take x is 6. What we assume in the problem is x is the speed of stream. Therefore, we have speed of stream which is x kilometers per hour and it is 6 kilometers per hour. This completes our solution.